Hey there, this is Cooper from MetaCTF, and in this video, me and a colleague, Angela, are going to run through a simulated capture the flag competition to give you a better idea of what that might look like. Um, hopefully you enjoy it, and let's get into it. Cool. All right, let's, we got a little bit of time left. How long do we have in the CTF left? I think we have like about an hour left. Okay. Let's try to solve, let's try to get our team don't panic up the leaderboard. Um, yes. Should I share screen? Sure. Why don't you try and then I can do it afterwards. Okay. Cool. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Um, let me just hide floating panels. Am I sharing the right screen? Yes, you are. You can see this? Yep. Okay. We're good. So let's see. Which would tell me one that jumps out of you. Oh, let's look at uh thanks for the passwords. It's thanks for the, this one? Yeah. All right, let's see. On a red team engagement, you discover a text file on an administrator's desktop with all of their passwords. You now have the keys to the kingdom. Um here's an example of one of their encrypted passwords. Okay, so uh, this is what we need to do something with. We need to like decode it. Right, it's encrypted. And um, it looks like it's over 20 characters, I believe, with a string. Um, normally when you have like encrypted passwords, right? And this is a crypto or cryptography category and they want us to decrypt it. Um, let's check that question mark. Uh, icon right there. I think it's supposed to be a hint. Oh. Oh, no penalty. That's great. Oh, cool. No, what does the equal sign at the end indicate? Oh, okay. So they're calling attention to this. And there's two of there's two of them. So right. that could be I'm gonna Google that. Let's see. Um what does double equal sign sign mean in an encrypted string, yeah. encoded yeah. string, encrypted string. Yeah, that could work. They're they're double quoting encrypted, so I don't know. Oh wait, here the two equal sign at the end of base sixty four encoded string. Okay, so we know okay, it's so a base sixty four. Base sixty four is we're looking out for that. Okay, so now we just need to decode it. Um, right. Which. I think I see something um, right next to the UI settings. It says cyber Yeah, okay, let's, let's try that. Let's check this out. Oh, awesome. Oh, and here's base 64. Okay. I'm guessing, okay, so we drag this in here. Do we want non-alphabet characters? No, we don't want to remove them. Where did it go? I think scroll up a little bit. Okay, yeah. here we go. So I'm just going to copy paste this and see what happens. Right. All right, let's check it out. Input. Oh, cool. Awesome. Okay. That's oh, and en the encoding flag. is not the same as encryption. Yeah, I think this is the flag. Uh, I'm just going to take this part. I don't know if we need the other part. Oh, oh it's right. Okay, awesome. So that was oh, 100 points? Sweet. 100 points. Awesome. All right. Oh, I also. I've never done a web exploitation problem. Can we do this one under? Sure. Instructions? I know something also... about web. Okay. All right. Um, then just tell me if I'm doing anything bad. Okay. Okay. So someone made this site for the Autobots to chat with each other. Seems like the Decepticons have found the site too and made accounts. Okay. So it's kind of like Transformers. Um, one of the Autobot accounts has a flag that they're trying to keep hidden from the Decepticons. Can you figure out which it is and steal it? Okay. Um, I'm just going to click this link, see what we get. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get a login page. Right. And it has a username, a password, and a submit button. Um, I'm, I'm going to just try some stuff. Let's try username, password. Right, the defaults. The defaults. Login failed. Okay, great. So that's the message that happens when you put in the uh, user input. 
Okay, what's another one to try? I feel like this. Like admin, admin, Ad admin. Admin, admin, okay. Admin, admin. Let's see if that works. Oh. Nope. Okay. Uh, all right, what could we, I so mean, pretty, I, there's not much going on here. So I wonder if there's like another way we can. I, I think we need to get into like the hacker mindset. And since this is a web yeah. exploitation challenge, we should probably Google something that gives a hint about what a hacker would, would do on the website. Okay. So let's say like, how would a hacker Okay, yeah, let's look. How would a pen tester look at a web problem? Right, let's, let's look at this that. Out. Okay, simulated cyber attack against your computer system, check for exploits and vulnerabilities. Oh, and here's some stages, okay. Planning, scanning, you know more about this than me, so I don't know. Tell me if something jumps out to you. This seems more- We're not more scanning. Yeah. I believe we're trying to get the information. So we can, I think we need to, um, you know, we, I think what we were trying to do earlier when we were putting in admin, admin, whatnot was some type of injection. And okay. we, I think we're getting closer to what we were supposed to get to, but maybe we're looking at this a little on like on a broader scale maybe we need to yeah, this scale seems, back a little bit yeah i agree this like article seems a little too um like industry standard i don't know if we need to think that broad i think we need to like figure out how to get into it so like what can we is there a way i'm just going to google like how to see what a website is doing right As search engine optimization. This is like talking about traffic. Like right. for someone like ad tracking. This is not what we want. No, it's not. Um, not at all. Let's see what if like we can see how it's built. That would be closer, I think. Look at the source code. Source code okay. of the website is easily accessible from your browser. Okay. Um, how though? Do you know? So, developer uh, tools? You, yeah, developer tools. If you look at the top right where the three buttons are. Oh, here? Yeah. And then it should be more tools. Oh, right there. Developer okay. tools. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, this That's looks CSS. Like, That's what is not it. This? this isn't it. No. Try the index. In, index. Oh, okay. So it looks like there's like a script from what I see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, and these look like the one that we found here. Right. Potential so, flags. Okay, so these are potential flags, but there's five of them. Right. So I'm just going to try one. I'm just going to try mm -hmm. ad admin. I feel like admin is a good guess, right? Right. Um, Okay. Oh, can you try going back to website two? Which one? Um, the login form. This one? Yeah, and try putting in like the password and the user there. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's yeah. Try that. I'm I feel like you're try, closer. I'm, should I try? Let's see if I can just guess it. Let's see. Okay. I bet you I can get it on the first try. Okay. Oh, all right, fine. <laughs> we'll do it your way. Okay, so then it's admin and mm -hmm. I already copy and pasted the password. So okay. I'm gonna paste the password. Okay, gonna, so that's I'm not gonna redo it. it. I'm gonna redo it to make sure I know that I'm entering it again. Right. Admin, I'm pasting my password, login fail. Okay, well that's, so that's not, not surprising. It. Given that I didn't get the file. Okay, so more tools back to developer tools. Right. Let's see what else we can see. Okay. So we have five. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so we have a loop here. Yeah, before loop. Which is, what is this doing? 
I think it's showing like the index of A and it's looking for the username and the password of the, a certain account. And if it's the username is Jazz, then it looks like it's going to give us a flag or the password. Oh, okay. So it, they want Jazz. Right. Jazz, right? It wasn't admin, I don't think. Okay, so let's try, let's try the Jazz one. Let's do, right. let's try it on the thing. Jazz, pasting, login failed. That's interesting. Let me see this. Oh, it's the whole thing. I need the whole thing. Right. I only, I only got the inside the brackets part. That's okay. All right, let's check it out now. Let's see. I think I'm feeling good on this one. Ah, okay. So that's the password is the flag. So awesome. Now let's try this. Haha, -ha, got it. Yes, that's good. Oh, so okay. we got our first web. Yeah, that was fun. All right, let's check out, let's see the scoreboard. I kind of want to see how we're doing. Right, don't panic. <laughs> yeah, don't panic. Oh, okay. okay. 13th, that's pretty good. Top 20, not bad at all. Top 20, even top 15. Yeah. Oh, look, we're only 300 behind AP. That's really awesome. Okay, let's, I want to catch them. Let's, let's get them. So that's it for this video, but if you enjoyed or you have questions, feel free to check us out on Twitter at MetaCTF or uh, reach out to us on our email, contact at MetaCTF.com. I'll link those here on the screen. Um, that's it for today.